incredible. Simply incredible. Hello, Professor. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day. Good day. How are you? Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. With these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. <laughs> Unfortunate. Uh, uh, you make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Well, yes. A, a white man, obviously, but 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 with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir. I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple. Uh, pure. Uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Uh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again, no. They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? I've quite enough for two. Not right this minute, no. Oh, it's such a remarkable drug. It entirely restores the ego. It takes one back to a primal state. It helps my thinking enormously. <laughs> oh, oh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on. Uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? Or, or, or skin a rabbit? <coughs> I know. We cannot see the stars, but still, my heart is pure, and we meet as equals. These savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. No, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding, both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. They are turning to bad things. A savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills. In Cochinay. Let's go. I know a way there that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous. <laughs> Simply marvelous. Estamos tan cerca y tan lejos. Come, let's hurry. Stay close. So, I understand we have a mutual interest in Mr. Vanderlyn. You gonna kill him too? Kill him? Good God, no! What is it with you people out here? No, Vanderlyn fascinates me. A white man living among natives, a civilized mind turned savage. It's <laughs> the civilization or eh? regressive cultivation that. I don't know. I, I haven't found a name I like yet. He was never that civilized. Ah, but of course. <laughs> Edgar Ross mentioned your unique history with the man. Although I was away with the fairies at the time, I must admit. Surfing great waves of euphoria. <sighs> anyway, yes. Uh, some kind of Robin Hood, Oedipus, communist tale of naivete and betrayal, if I remember correctly. Bueno, realmente es... sí. to read too much into everything, dear boy. Look, Mr. Marston, buffalo. Oh, what a noble beast. I see him. The white man will soon be the end of them. What on earth are you talking about, Nastas? Too much hunting, sir. Your whole society is based around hunting. But we hunt to eat, not for sport. Soon, there will be no buffalo left. Who teaches you this nonsense? Extinction is a myth refuted by Darwin. Species don't die, they evolve. Hunting in time will make the buffalo stronger. Creo que no, eh? These trees are quite foreboding, Nastas. Are, are you sure this is the right way? Yes, sir. It's rather dark. It's this way, mister. Ain't you never seen trees before? I thought you were a brave cultural explorer. Good lord, no. I 
rarely leave my room. I explore with a mind, Mr. Marston. Enjoy it while you still can. Soon you will have cut down all of these trees. Me? Or are you making a sweeping statement about the white man in general? There is no respect for the land anymore. I'm sensing some hostility, Nastas. Some anger. Talk me through this primal emotion, where it's coming from. Don't worry about it, Professor. El primer, eh, la primera misión del DLC me gusta porque mueres. Me cae mal el profesor. Pero este hasta de pequeño me caía mal. Parecía muy gilipollas. En general. Vale. See if you can find another route, Mr. Marston. I will have a look around. Pero acá había tiempo, eh. Porque tiempo había. A ver. Vale, ya ah, estás. There's a cave over here. Might go through or up the mountain. Yes, look at this. This way. No te has rajado, ¿no? Corre. Ping. 
Han explotado. Creo que más bien será verlo abajo, eh. Ah, ya decía yo, digo, ¿en qué sentido tiene que ser por abajo, tío? Ah, pues sí. Sí, va a ser por abajo, sí. Um... Al menos tengo... El fusil, pero... Tú estás en mi camino. Tú estás en mi camino. No he despellejado ni uno. Este es el primer animal que despellejo. Y ni siquiera he despellejado el que quería. Vale. Um, ok. ¡Qué cojones se acaba de pasar! No, si yo vengo de aquí. Hostia. El infartito, tú. Yeah, Yanas. 
Qué pachada, H. Mr. Marston. Mr. Marston. Mr. Marston. Here you go, Mr. Marston. Get that stuff away. You banged your head. Nastus and I carried you down. Mm. Well, uh, Nastus uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. I improvised an escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderlyn. We must try to reason with them, sir. Vanderlyn's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters. Before, this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. Well, sure, it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in Yale whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. Oh, the man was quite, quite traumatized. He took to lying with choir boys. You're a wise man. You are a very stupid man, mister. Gentlemen, I'm going to leave you to figure out right from wrong. You are simple-minded, sir. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding reason. Uh, then again. <laughs> Estamos muy cerquita y muy lejitos ahora mismo. Te lo juro, ese sonido me encanta, ¿eh? El, el de... Conseguir un trofeo. Vale, ya están disponibles. Coño. Hola, perrito. Saludos. ¿Qué ha pasado? ¿Qué ha pasado? ¿Qué he hecho? ¿Qué 
Okay, kapa chao. Follow me. I asked the stars to bring the horses around front. Get, get, quick, man, quick. Hello, Professor. Mr. Marsh. Ah, hombre. Estoy pendiente de poner muchas más, pero... Hay muchas que, que he cancelado pa porque estoy jugando historia. Voy a poner una de Deep, también. Some of Vanderlyn's men have agreed to meet with Professor McDougall up at Bearclaw Cabin. Why the hell would they want to do that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample from the soles of their feet? I don't think that's a good idea. Mm. Pero tío, ¿qué os ha hecho el oso? Al menos ser rápidos. Al menos ser rápidos. Este no es mi Marston. No, no. Yo, eh, de, de hecho, no hemos sido nosotros. Yo le he dado una muerte pi piadosa al oso. Uy. Ok. Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done for us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I have to... But I... Well, violence isn't the answer. Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlyn will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The like of which you could only imagine. Put your hands up! We come in peace! Do as he says, Marston. You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weapon. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! Holy shit! Damn it, Dutch! A Dios se lo esperaba de verdad. Pero prefiero esta. Es que... 
¿A quién se le ocurre, sabes? O sea, venga, vamos a... A ir con estos que... Que sabemos que son peligrosos No sé, me parece una subnormalidad. Se ha cagado, es que se ha cagado. Se ha cagado. Sin más. Es Es el momento oportuno para atropellar a alguien sin querer. Ah, que sí. Es el momento oportuno. No puedo hacer su misión, pero 